Well, hey everyone, welcome to Music Machine Lab. My name is Jeff Culp. This is a quick video to show you the Logic Pro environment devices I'm offering. So for those of you not familiar with Logic's environment, it's basically a way to get under the hood of Logic Pro itself and program things that really can't be done in any other way. And you don't need third-party plugins or any other software to make this work. The first device I'm going to show you is called Tape Delay Beat Skip. It makes rhythmic stuttering effects and can create some very good sounding pitch and glitchy granular effects as well. And this device utilizes Logic's own Tape Delay plugin to make this work. This next device is called Insert FX Glitcher. So like Beat Skip, it allows you to use your MIDI controller or a pre-recorded or programmed MIDI region to turn on and off Logic's Insert FX plugins. This one is also very good for glitchy sounds and for experimenting with combinations of layered effects. And it's also great used in conjunction with tape delay beat skip. I also have a free download of an environment device that has controls for a reference track and a custom click track that I built into Logic. I use it on all my projects and it really comes in handy when I have an existing track that I want to add more production elements to like synths or samples. And this device controls a bandpass EQ, solo, and can make specific volume changes to the reference track. And it has a solo button and faders for the downbeat, upbeat, and count off of the click track. Here's the link to the introductory video of my series where I show how to build a reference track controller, so I get a lot more in depth on how to program in the environment. Well thanks for watching guys, and let me know your thoughts. I'm excited to see what you'll do with these devices by using them in your own projects and possibly reverse engineering them and coming up with your own creative ways to control plugins and features of Logic using the capabilities of the environment. I'll see you next time.